we have the bottle pool with this today. We're playing some more Mega Man X. Last time we did a bunch of little stuff. We got a few heart tanks. We got all the sub tanks. We got a few weapons. We got armor pieces. We're just missing the the chest piece and maybe one hard tank. And now we're gonna fight Sting Chameleon. And if you beat Launch Octopus in Sting Chameleon stage, if you go over here, it's filled with water. Probably wondering, what's the point of the water? Well, the point of the fucking water is to help you dash jump all the way to this last heart tank. And dash jump back. And with that trophy, that tells me I got all the heart tanks. And up here is your little mid boss to fight for the final heart, I mean, the final armor piece. Now he is susceptible to the flamethrower, he's not weak to the flamethrower. His only weak point is the head, unless you're using the flamethrower. Then his whole body is the weak point. Y'all notice he's dying when he starts smoking like that. I could have sworn I dashed, but I guess Crab Hand is not not good. I can't tell when the fuck to jump away from that. Sometimes when he hits the wall with his hand, he'll he'll suck himself up with that. God damn it, even the back attack hurt me. I think you can hit him with the fucking tornado? Yeah, you can. But if you miss, you're not gonna be doing damage. Even when I hit him, I did like two hits. And then the Armor Beast mysteriously appears. It's almost as if Dr. Light made that robot just to beat me up. Yay. So we're fully armored up. We take half the damage we used to. We got full health, all sub tanks. We're pretty fucking chilling right now. Also, you might notice that there's no more rumbling. It's because that one fucking robot ain't doing the rumbling. Also, all those fake-ass stones are enemies. And I keep getting hit by them. God damn it. Still gonna take half damage. Thank you. Out of here. Rat armor. Good thing about the right armor is it doesn't, it has its own HP. It doesn't show you the HP, but it does have its own HP. Chameleon, who is the third offender of the Spark Mandrum Syndrome, where you just boomer coin or him and you win. The only thing that's hard about doing it is boomer coin his weapon is kind of weird in a sense that if you do it, do it off your peak jump, it will go downward. But if you do it off normal jump, it will go up. It does whatever the fuck it feels like. How about that? Nick, oh my god. There. Let me just do that.
I almost died to this motherfucker. How did I not hit you? How? Oh my god, I'm gonna... I ain't gonna die. I ain't gonna fucking die this. Two panels now? Let's go. Man mode. How did I not hit you? He... What? Okay. Whatever. It's my fault. Yeah, it's just, it's just my fault. It's fucking my fault, dog. Like... Clearly, I didn't go man mode enough. Clearly, I didn't fucking stop sandbag and activate my sharing again. I fucking hate. Piece of fucking filth. Now what? Now what, nigga? He my ass. Piece of fucking filth, dog. Anyways, we get the Chameleon Sting. Now, this has the best charge ability in the set. Oh, by the way, Storm Eagle's weak against that. Um. So when you fully charge it, you become invincible to any attack. Nothing will kill you. Also, when you get all the bosses dead, you get a cutscene. If you call that a cutscene. And he's all like, oh, thumb, Sigma's Fortress, let's go fuck him up. And he's just like, I'm X. And then Sigma's gay ass face is in the middle, and yeah, it's cool. I wonder what part of the map is. No, it's just like not a part of the map. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Let's split up. You're not gonna play as me until Mega Man X3, and you're not gonna play a full campaign with me until X4. I'm leaving you. God damn it. So let's show off this at least. Holy charts, completely immortal. The only thing I can kill you is bottomless pits. Speaking of which... Because a nigga needs to get one more upgrade, and a nigga forgot to get one more upgrade. And it lasts a pretty long time, honestly. Enough to, like, look, that's five turtles, and it's still there for the platforming section. Also, you might need it for the platform section because those purple assholes are there. So, while I'm killing myself, let's uh, talk about the dumb story that I <laughs> did not talk about until, like, later. So, robots have individual thoughts now. Like, they, they can think for themselves, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Some robots think it's good to be good and not kill humanity. Though some other robots who are, I'm just gonna say tainted by humanity, because like, let's be honest, Wily being alive did not help robots at all. And we're gonna go to Armor Armadillo stage, and basically, evil robots are considered Maverick. If you go Maverick, there's a force called the Maverick Hunters to take you out. That's what X is a part of, the Maverick Hunters. And Sigma, who's the big bad of the series, honestly, uh, basically he was the leader of the Ma Maverick Force. And after a fight with Zero, where he inadvertently got infected with the Zero Virus, which was made by Dr. Wily because it's an upgraded version of the Robo Enzo Virus thanks to Mega Man 10. Useless fucking bullshit. Um, after that bullshit... Okay, okay, momentum. There's also another way you can do this. You can also kill this thing instantaneously with a flamethrower. 
And up there is your heart tank if you want that. But like I was saying, um, so Sigma got infected with the Sigma virus. So the re robot leader of the Maverick Force went Maverick because the Sigma, uh, not the Sigma virus, the Zero virus makes you go Maverick. You have to kill yourself a few times on the stage to get the weapon. Uh, I should have had nine lives because I fucked up, but whatever. And because of that, he took some of the Maverick Force, because it's canon that all the, the Mavericks of this bot, like Boomer Koanger, fucking Chill Penguin, fucking. They're all part of the Maverick Force, and they all have their own individual jobs, like robots in Mega Man Classic did. But unfortunately, Sigma made them go Maverick with him, which is why we had to put them down. And we found Sigma's fortress. And you might be wondering, who the fuck was that dude with the giant ride armor in the beginning of this game? That that was um, fucking Vile. His name is actually Vile, and he was uh, he was already a Maverick apparently. And I think he was a Maverick hunter, but before before the game starts, he was locked up, and Sigma freed him to wreak havoc, which is the beginning of the game. Yeah, I forgot to grind fucking bullshit. So you have to grind- like, I don't think you have- like, in the, the remake of X, uh, Maverick Hunter X, you had to have full health tanks and not get hit, and they don't appear, but I just believe you gotta kill yourself a few times. I don't believe you have to fill your sub your sub tanks fully, but what's the harm of having full har uh, sub tanks? There isn't any. I'm better off with the fucking tornado. Just let them stack up. Let the slowdown just consume me. Yeah, so he, he told Vile to wreak havoc, and that's why um, X and Zero were called to help that. And eventually, they find out that Sigma's evil. I don't know when, um, because in this game, I think he's just evil. But besides that, uh, we found out where his base is, and we're gonna go take him out, because we're the Maverick Hunters, and he's a Maverick. That's the plan. Event like, unfortunately, like, well, let's be honest, this is Mega Man X1, there are eight. We don't kill Sigma completely there's there's always gonna be some bullshit where you're like I have a new body I'm a virus I infected this person this dude's my body this dude's my little baby kin like this 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 guy can clone himself uh, this guy can turn into other robots and the robot he turned into was me like it's all stupid but I'm not saying the classic series wasn't stupid like every time it's always wily in the X series, every time it's always Sigma. Even if X8 tells you it's somebody else, it's 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 fucking Sigma. Like, well, that's, that thing is the fucking devil, and the robot devil decides to take you. Anyways, we're just doing this until we have full sub tanks because we're gonna need those sub tanks. I think they're they're not even full. Where's my health? Where's my health drops? You useless bastards! Do I have nine? No, I got eight lives. So let's uh, let's let's fix that. This man. Thank you. Fuck, dog. Like, you act like the drops are bad. Fuck. 
You're the one who drops the lives, period. So basically just go up and down, the bats will respawn, you get the fucking health. And you'd be alright. Now you probably, if you played Bingham Man X before, I don't, if, and you're watching this Let's Play because reasons, uh, you're probably wondering, the up, you're, you're, you know what the upgrade I'm going to get. And you're probably wondering if I'm going to use it. And to answer your question, yes. Yes, I am. On who? I'm going to use it on the dog. I'm going to use it on Sigma 1. And then we can't use it on Sigma 2 because, like, it's an impossibility. I tried it. I, I tried so hard to hit him with it. It's impossible unless you're playing the remake on the PSP. That was a sound effect that told me the health is full. Lit. So let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know why that fucking hits me, dog. Whatever. I want my health back. Anyways, we're gonna make it back to the, that waterfall. I could probably cut to there, so... Uh, cut. So we're back at the waterfall, and I gotta kill myself like four or five times. I don't know who the fuck programmed it. I don't know who the fuck found it out. That, that's a straight up a Nintendo power fact, I guess. But I don't know what the hell, dog. You thought, oh, maybe if they died a few times. And I don't even know if you have to kill yourself in that specific spot. I just know that you have to kill yourself, and we have to check that spot every time. So this might as well kill yourself on this spot. And we do it again. And we keep doing it until that fucking peak, that armor, armor, um, capsule. I guess it's a capsule. Yeah. We do it until it appears, and when it does, we get the thing, we leave. Part 2, X2, is gonna make getting the specific special thing not... It's gonna make it getting it harder, but yeah, well, at least we'll have to kill ourselves. In fact, we're gonna be dying through our own volition. There it is. Oh, Dr. Light reuse Ghee! They give you a special present. Now, this, this upgrade's cool and all. But it's kinda dumb. Hadoken, yeah, you, you do Hadoken, and you can do a Hadoken. It's down for shoot. He even says it, that's awesome. Problem. You can only use it when you're at full health. So if you take one fucking panel of health damage, you you, you can't do it. So that's going to come up to me being a dumbass and being like, Oh, maybe I'll Hadouken this person. Oh, I lost the panel of health. I'm going to use a full sub-tank to fill it. Because remember, no matter how little health you use, if you use a sub-tank, you use all the sub-tank. So watch out for that. Anyways, we're going to do what we did before. And get the fuck out of here. Because you don't have to fight these guys. And there's only one platforming section that you just... This is the hard part. This is just the hard part. I hate going crab hand. I dash jump. I swear to God, I dash jump.
But sometimes the dash doesn't activate, and that makes me sad. You see these assholes? They're just here to fucking insta-kill you with the bottomless pit! It's so rude! Get that ass out of here! Then we can play the game normally. I wish that hit you. These things are bad. And we're gonna get cutscene. Oh, it's vile! Oh, it's zero! Stay back, X! I'll take him on! Yeah, Zero got this. This sounds like something Zero can take care of. In fact, we can hear the battle right now. Didn't that sound cool? I wonder who won! <laughs> Ah, shit. We need big strong right armor, man. He has big strong right armor! It, 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 it is how it is, though. He's like, this, this is how it's gonna be. You're, you're still doing your fucking I have to die thing. There's no way to win this fight. You can't win this fight. You have to have a little bit of health. And he'll shoot that fucking electro thing at you. Like the original part of the stage. Like the, the, the tutorial stage. And once that happens, there we go. Cutscene. He'll grab me again. He'll put me on the side, and then Zero does Zero thing. Is all like, I'm gonna fucking self destruct. We lost Zero. But fucking Vile's still alive. So now we have to fight Vile as X. But we Mega Man X, we infinite possibilities, we heal because cutscene powers. And we try to use Hadoken on Vile. And we lost it. <laughs> now, in truth, Vile is not hard to beat. He'll just dash around, he'll shoot. He'll do his little ankle attack. It is not hard boss. As long as you can crab hand properly and fucking dash jump and shoot, you win. But Hadoukening him would have been so tasty. Now you're probably wondering why didn't I Hadoken him? Why didn't I sub tank Hadoken him? There's still more stage. Also, Zero's dead. He can bleed apparently. Auto, auto repair system scan only. I blew half my body up. So yeah, zero disappears. Uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, if you don't have the 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 Buster upgrade, zero will give you his Buster, and it's basically having the Buster upgrade. But again, you need everything if you want the armor Hadoken. I hate this fucking dude. God damn it. There's still more. There's still more. Okay, cool. We're out of here. Now we have to do the fucking boss fights again, starting with Boomer Kwanger. Thankfully, Boomer Kwanger's weakness is very easy to hit him with. So we're alright. In the health department. Fuck me. Let me not make mistakes. There, he's dead. 
So we're, we're at that point where we're gonna refight the, the the Mavericks, and unfortunately, unlike the classic series, it's not all in one room. We're gonna be fighting them periodically, which is not the best. You know what? I can just fight. Like, I need help. <laughs> So we are going to use sub tank. We cannot hide open this boss because this boss is just impossible to hide open. He is weak to the shotgun ice. And honestly, this is pretty annoying for a boss. Um, if you're not good at these kind of puzzles, then I feel bad. There. That's it. I think you can hide open it. It's just really hard to. The idea is to find out which wire he's going to be on at the end, and then shoot him when he's at the bottom. His eye only opens when he's at the bottom, and if you miss your shot, that's your fault. Because he goes very quickly. And then he shoots little baby spiders, and then that interrupts you, and he goes, he goes faster the less health he has. It's just an annoying boss all around. God damn it. Piece of shit. I actually dashed by double tapping the fucking direction button, really? One more shot, and that'll do it. And that's the Sigma 1 boss. I guess the Sigma Fortress one? Like how it's Wily Castle 1? So we have to fight Vile, Boomer Kwanger, and Weird Spider Thing. That's uh, the first part. <laughs> 